tuta tutasoma Sunday school vile eh teach Sunday school vile mimi ninafunza the way she normally teach niliambiwa ni vizuri ni muoneshe it is important to Sure. And your kosa babu si kila mtu wako na style yake na tunasoma. Corona's got his or our own style. Like tunasoma kutoka each other. Si ni kwa. We learn from one another. Eh so munisame to miss Jazoya watu wazima nimezoea watu. Forgive me I'm not used to. Na mimi anacheka ndio anajua nikiwa mbele ya watoto ninakuwa niko sawa. Na mimi know when she is in front of children she is okay. Aya so tutakuwa tuna follow the same book at I nearly took a lesson moja kutoka zile ambazo tutampe so she took one lesson from the same book of acts yes ambazo tutampe so the ones that we are going to give you we'll give you okay i took a lesson from one of them kwa fonso moja kutoka kwa hiyo kitabu na leo tuta participate katika kusoma today we shall participate in learning Eh, kwa hivyo sijui kawaida mnafanyanga nini mkienda Sunday school. So, I don't know normally what you do when you go to Sunday school. Lakini mimi ninawauliza watoto. But I'll ask you as children. Ni vizuri mmoja wenu ajitolee kuombea lesson. It's good for one of you to stand up and pray for the lesson. The reason I do that sababu na yafanya hivyo is because we are also teaching them to pray. Kwa kama tunawafunza pia kuomba. It is okay to pray a blessing over them. Ni muhimu kuombea baraka juu yao. But ever since we learned about prayer. Lakini nini watajifunza kuomba? I encourage them to say a few words. No, eh, all the time. Sasa tu waseme maneno machache kila wakati. Eh, ni vizuri. I don't know kama nyinyi ndio mfanya. Lakini kama unafanya ngai mimi personally but personally ndivyo tulifunzwa na mwalimu wetu pale sawa we were taught by our teacher that mungu hayuko mbali that our god is not far eh, na ako karibu is just near na mbele tuanze jambo lolote na before we start every any other thing ni vizuri kumkaribisha it is important that na kwa sababu amesimama hapa because he is standing there tukaribishie <laughs> mtu Yeah. Okay. Let us pray. Mungu Baba, wa Mungu na nchi, kwa sababu ni sasa mfalme kwa wakati huu, nimekusanyika ile tutasome kusiana na mafunzo ya Sunday school. Bwana ninaomba utuongoze kwa sababu mtakatifu kutuelekeze bwana kutupe hekima na ufumilie kwa sababu mfano wa Mungu. Inasema asante bwana ni Mungu. Katika jina la Bwana Yesu, tuomba na kuamini. Amen. Asante so karibuni. So welcome all of you. Eh uh, tutafuata we are going to follow in hot uh, from the book of Acts. I was going to say what she said. Ah kuna kitabu cha matendo ya mitume. Ah uh, about uh, Roho Mtakatifu akishoka. Uh, so in the book of Roho Mtakatifu. We are going to talk about the Holy Spirit and how he came down. Na jinsi Roho Mtakatifu alikuja. Na I am very sure a lot of you mesoma hiyo lesson. Si nikwa wengine wenu mmesoma. Maybe you can give me an idea. You can give me an idea. Unaweza mpea tu wazo. Wakati ni ni nani alinena? Kwa najua mmeiona kwa karatasi. Lakini Yesu aliambiana atatupe msaidizi. Jesus told us that he is going to give us a helper. Na wakati alisema hivyo hako ameenda juu kwa. When he said that he was still on earth. He has not ascended. Na alitumia alitutumia msaidizi. Si ni ukweli. He sent the helper. Si ni ukweli. Is it true? Na huo msaidizi tuli tunamjua kama nani. And that helper we know him as who? Yes, yes. Eh? Tutaanza hapa. Yes, Roho Mtakatifu. That is very good. Oh my gosh, I am teaching yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, na uh, and ninaweza taka kujua kabla like tuanze before we start kwenu to you yeah to you holy spirit anamaanisha nini what does the holy spirit mean to you what does it mean to you an advocate mtetezi eh eh some advocate eh eh mtu ambaye anakutetea yes mtetezi mtu ambaye ni anatuongoza yes our leader Uh, he takes care of us. He's our protector. 
ni mwalimu yes he gives us power anatupa nguvu ni amba anatu anatu gosh comforta nini na kiswahili pia ni pia anatulinda is a guide now that's a very good introduction si ni kweli lakini kwa sababu hatutaki watoi waboeke lakini kwa sababu hautaki you have uh, kwangu nime introduce in you kweli she has introduced na sasa no. kwa sababu tulikuwa tumetoka kanisa kubwa kama kwetu because hautaki kuendelea tu like tutatafuta wimbo ya kuimba kwa we shall have to get a song <laughs> to sing naona pastor john amefurahi sana leo na, kuna mtu ambaye hapo na wimbo anajua kuhusu roho mtakatifu yeah. Is there any, anyone Yes. I will teach you one, one chorus. Chorus. I sing one chorus about the Holy Spirit. Can you yes. listen in your um, language? My Bible. My Bible and I, my Bible, my Bible and I, what a wonderful Bible that God gave with a measure. We are traveling together, my Bible and I, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit and I, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Traveling together. Holy Spirit and I. I thank you, John. Let me love you. Now I'm a prize. And 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 I'm a prize. Na wakati mwingine mnakuwa mkiingia sijui vile mnafanya class yenu lakini najua mnaimbanga na watoto but i know you sing with those children yes so mimi mimi nikiingia kwa darasa langu so, class, either tutaimba either sing ama tucheze mchezo kidogo we have a fun just a play yes kwa sababu wakati mwingine unapata kuna mtoto get... alikuja na mashida zake za kando si wengine kabla avae nguo ya sandi ulikuwa umemchapa slap maybe she was <laughs> <laughs> even some punishment back at home so it is good so ni muhimu to to bring the children and uh, uh, put them at ease umrejeshe mawazo ya yule mtoto ili ya na you as a teacher na wewe kama mwalimu play that role cheza hiyo nafasi chukua hiyo nafasi si ni kweli jo unataka mtoto akue ina ina way atakusikiza you want the kid to be in an environment that she will listen to so si ndio twende kwa lesson yetu so before we get into our lesson eh kama kama vile mlivyoambiwa the way you are told a teacher prepares mwalimu anajitayarisha so in my class i normally come with things like this ones i don't know nyinyi nyinyi mnaweza kuja na kitu chochote pengine matawi mmeokota nje miti lakini watoto wanasoma sana kwa kutenda but children do learn in working so lesson yetu ya leo so our lesson today itatoka kutoka kwa kitabu cha umesema matendo ya mitume na nataka tusome pamoja and we shall read together na wakati mwingine watoto hawabebi bibilia and some other time children don't carry bibles except true kusema yako hautabeba but it doesn't mean that you as a teacher you will not carry a bible it's important to carry your Bible. How will you have Bible to study? You want to be able to study it? I'm going to study it. But if you want to study it, you want to study it. But if you thought you were not coming to church.
Nimejaribu sana kuandika hiyo swahili. So I've tried to write it in Swahili. So ukiona ime imekosea mahali pengine, mimi nisamehe. So it is a mistake you just forgive us. So today we are going to learn from the book of Acts chapter 2. The lesson is about God sending his Holy Spirit. About God sending who? Holy Spirit. About God sending Holy Spirit. Now it was very important because Jesus alikuwa narudi mbinguni. Lakini alikuwa ametupea promise. Ni kwa hivyo sasa promise. Is it that true? Hange tuacha hivyo. Ni kule nje as live as that. Hange tuacha hivyo. Ni kama it if he left us just like that. Kama hange tuacha tu hivyo. It would have been like ingekuwa tu ni kama I come and tell you. Nikuja na kuambia I'm going to buy you a piece of chicken. Nitakununulia. Okay? And you are so excited. Nikisema leo tutakula kuku si wote. Wouldn't you be so excited? Simutafurahi sana. Would you all be so excited? Simutafurahi sana. Assuming that what is in that uh, in this box is chicken. I can see his face has lit up. How would you be? Unaweza sikia aje? Unaweza sikia aje Monica. Mazi hiyo smile najua Christmas itakuwa kwa. Eh amo imagine hata anakulanga mpaka wewe mwenyewe unameza nande. Unamaji zamu. Ukajaribu kuniangane hiyo nyama nitakosana. Now imagine nimekuambia hivyo vyote. Just imagine I've given you promises. And then I have cooked the chicken. Ah nimepika kuku. And then I take that tray. Inachukua kile tray. And then I come in here and you all looking at me. Alafu ni pite kwa heri ya kuonana. Niangalia tu naambia tu kwa heri. How would that feel? Mnaweza sikia aje. Mnasikia aje. I had made a promise and did not stick to it. Ichi nime kwa hizi na is that fair? But Jesus is not like that. He made a promise and he stuck to it. Na alifikisha ile ahadi. And this is where we are going to read. Let's read from this part. Okay. Now, after Jesus went back to heaven, his friends prayed and stayed together in Jerusalem. One morning, a sound like a strong wind blowing filled the house where they were staying. So, walikuwa wa mekaa pamoja. Watu wa mungu wa mekaa pamoja. Sini ukweli? So, walikuwa wa mekaa pamoja. Wanashirikiana. I would say at this point they were not idle. Okay. They were probably praying and praising God. Unajua ikiwa ni kwetu kule nyumbani, tungekuwa nimesimamisha hatuna tunaimba wimbo. Pengine uh, ni gani hapa mnarukarukanga kidogo? Maybe here you normally jump. Kaa kwetu tunaimba. Eh, uh, we are praising and praising God. You know you are not idle. You are not idle. Okay? You know God loves to hear these things from you. So they were staying there together, not idle, waiting. They were what? They were doing what? Remember, Jesus alikuwa meme promise. Sinu kwenye. Na mtu akikuwa ambilili ya kitu, siu nangoja. Mtu akikuwa hindi, you have to wait. When someone makes, if Cheryl makes a promise to make me a banana bread, I will wait expectantly. Yeah, tangoja hile ndizi ya nilira na pasta. And I brought it. Oh, you did. Oh my goodness, that is good. So, unakuanga umengoja. Sinu kwenye. We'll be waiting. And you know, because he's your creator, so wako ni mumba wako, hakupei kitu ya of you. So not just you his gifts, things. his God's gifts are not. They're not fake. Uh, yeah, that's see <laughs> fake. They are. Imagine he's your creator. Do you think he's going to give you something fake? No.